Hello everyone and welcome back. For today's video we will be working outside, working in the flower beds, just getting everything ready for the summer. I'm doing some porch decorating so I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So the first thing that we did, of course, we went in and picked up some flowers, just some things that we needed to get these flower beds um, back in shape for the summer. Um, we're going to be doing some potted flowers. Um, I got a couple pretty ferns, as well as just some flower bed edging, um, some more solar lights, and yeah, just to kind of freshen up the space around our the front of our house and get everything ready for the summer. And it was a perfect day to be working outside. The sun was shining, such lovely weather. It was just perfect. And we had a lot of fun working on this together. Um, Lamar was at home and the children helped out as well. And yeah, we just had an enjoyable day working on um, the outside of the house. So to get started, I wanted to just get these um, planters out of the way, get all the like the individual um, flowers and things planted and so these two planters will go down um, at the garage beside the garage doors so we're going to get these planted and I forgot to pick up new liners for these um, planters so we're just using the ones from last year but anyways so we're just planting a couple of flowers in here now it does get really hot down there at the garage so I'm going to just kind of keep an eye on these and if it does get too hot by you know like July August I will just move these somewhere else but so far they are doing really well and thriving um, very nicely down there and of course trying to keep them watered um, like I should as well Chloe was very willing to help me um, this is always so much fun for her to help me um, you know just do things like this she enjoys this as well so one planter done and we are going to just do the other one exactly the same. And this year I picked up all of my flowers and things from Lowe's. I always think they have a nice selection and I don't always make it to like a greenhouse. Um, so yeah, Lowe's is always kind of the place where I grab some things um, if I'm there anyways. Um, so yeah, that's where all these flowers come and I was very happy with what I um, got together. So now we are moving on to these ferns I, and I wanted to get them out of these pots because they're so root bound. Um, every time you buy them in these pots, they, they really need to you know get out and have some room to, to grow and breathe, I guess. Um, so I did get these at a local greenhouse, um, the ferns, because I couldn't find them at like Lowe's or anyway, they didn't have them yet. Um, and I knew I wanted some ferns on the porch. So I found these and they're a really nice size. They're not like overly huge like some of them that you find, but I thought maybe they would grow a little bit, you know, during the summer and kind of fill out these pots. And the gentleman at the greenhouse told me, gave me a couple tips on how to care for these um, so that they last all summer very nicely. Um, so he said to fertilize them for four days and then just water for four days. And yeah, water them every day, um, but fertilize and water like off, um, switch off. So I'm gonna try that this summer. Hopefully I won't forget, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that and see if um, they grow a little bit better. All right, and once those are kind of situated up on the porch, we are going to start with the mulch. And we're gonna start over here in the, the bigger bed, flower bed over on this side of the porch. Um, it kind of takes the longest, so we're gonna get that one done. So this is always kind of a job and yeah, a lot of bending over and, but it always looks so good. You know, once it's all done, the fresh mulch is on and it looks so much better.
And then the last thing for this side was just blowing off the sidewalks, getting everything cleaned up again. And then we'll be done with this side of the porch. Now we did want to extend our flower bed out a little bit on the opposite side of the porch. So um, we're just marking off kind of where we want our lines to be, kind of figuring out um, how far out we want the flower beds to come. Yeah, just kind of um, doing a rough line here and then we'll go back and measure everything, make sure everything is straight and that it comes out looking right. So now we're just laying down this um, no dig flower edging, which actually worked pretty good. I wished I would have gotten some more stakes and put more stakes in than what just came with the box. Um, Cause I think it could have used a little bit more reinforcement, but this was fun for the children to help um, put in these stakes here. They took turns putting these stakes in. All right, so this is pretty much all that we got done on this day. Um, as you can see, it's kind of getting dark and yeah, it's at dusk. So I just wanted to hang up these lights for sure. I got these off of Amazon and I thought these were so cute. They're solar lights and I wanted to hang them up and also put these lights in the ground um, so that we could see them tonight. Um, see all our hard work that we done today. And so I'm going to just kind of um, put these behind this first row of um, this grass that we have in the flower bed here. Um, just kind of set it back from the sidewalk a little bit. Of course measuring to make sure I get them all straight and I'm just kind of putting them lightly into the ground first of all getting them all set um, before I you know put them down in the ground to where they will stay. And the last thing um, is put these down um, beside the garage doors and get them watered. So here is how our lights look. Um, just after dusk, it was just getting to starting to get dark and these lights had just turned on. Um, yeah, I am definitely one. I like lights and these solar lights just work out perfect. So this was on a different day. Um, I had wanted to just plant a little bucket of flowers in front of this little um, water pump. And so I decided to kind of dig down into the ground a little bit and kind of um, bury about half of this little pot before I plant in the flowers. So I just needed to dig down a little bit and I should have done this before we mulched, but um, I wasn't exactly sure 
yeah, what I wanted to do yet. So um, this worked out fine. So once we have that set kind of where we want it, I'm going to just um, put in some dirt around the pot so that it stays where it needs to be and then start filling the inside of the pot with some potting soil. And I'm just going to um, go with some petunias here as well as kind of a um, ground cover in the middle. Now this was later on that day um, towards evening so the first thing that I need to do on this side um, kind of where we marked out the new flower beds I need to put a strip of the um, landscaping fabric kind of toward the front because we did extend the flower bed out a little bit more so I need to do that before um, I put on the new mulch um, so this is going to take a little bit more time and I was kind of racing against the rain. We had rain coming and yeah, I did manage to get it done, but um, there at the end it was getting a little windy. So I just took the camera inside um, as it started sprinkling. So um, I did get a few clips of this part of the flower bed, um, but I did go ahead and take the camera inside um, after a while. I'm just kind of laying out the fabric here and trying to put some of the the old mulch on top as I'm unrolling it that way it stays in place as you can see by the landscaping fabric it's a little bit it's getting a little windy um, yeah so I was trying to hurry and get this done really quick um, before it started raining and yeah getting really windy And then I'm just cutting off the excess that I don't need and yeah, putting some mulch down in the front as I'm going just to keep some weight on it so that it doesn't come back up on me. This is the next day. I am moving on to the porch. Um, I wanted to just wipe down the front door. First of all, it was getting a little, you know, just kind of dirty and stuff. It needed to be wiped down and get, yeah, get it clean again. And then we're going to go ahead and put down the rug. Um, as you can see, I just watered these ferns. And I do have some drainage holes in the bottom of these pots just for you know, drainage for the ferns. 
And then coming out again with my blue striped rug. I had this one last summer as well. And then we're just going to clean up um, this little table, just get the pillows back out for these chairs, just put some finishing touches out here on the porch. We love sitting on this front porch. It is so pleasant. Um, it's yeah, nice and shaded in the afternoon and it's such a peaceful place to sit and just enjoy the nice weather. The children love to play out in the front lawn while we're sitting out here. And yeah, we just really enjoy this spot. And the last but not least, we're gonna light our citronella candle here. Um, definitely a must for our location. And here is the finished product of the porch. Now, if you remember right, when I did my um, spring decorating, um, if you remember these flowers that I got for inside the house, um, remember I told you I am saving some for a wreath. Um, for the front door. So I made that wreath with um, the rest of the flowers just to kind of tie in everything on once you step in the front door. Love how everything turned out um, out here on the porch. Such a cozy spot and we use this porch a lot. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know if you got your flower beds done this spring this summer already if you have flower beds that you're able to work on um, I think it's so much fun watching the flowers come up and yeah just taking care of them trying to keep them alive but I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye